going today? Jekyll Island in Georgia. About 150 miles or so, something like that? About two and a half hours, but really four hours for us because we drive pretty slow. We're going to stop for lunch, stop for gas, all that kind of stuff. You can tell we live out in the woods. Not too far down in Georgia, about a half a mile. Tough being a truck driver. You get weighed, agricultural inspections, log inspect inspections, how long you've been driving. A lot of government. This was our first boondocking experience. We were just sitting at the Georgia Welcome Center parking lot for about 45 minutes. It's also the first time we've taken the RV outside of Florida. It was a great day, not too hot, so it stayed very comfortable inside. Um, I'm enjoying the boondocking. It's nice having to be able to stop and relax and have lunch. And we're gonna hit the road again here in a couple minutes. Almost to the campground. We have about a mile to go on this road. It's very nice in here. The campground is big with everybody packed in tight, but there are lots of trees for shade. We had full hookups and the Wi Fi worked usually, and cell coverage was good. That's the bridge we didn't take. No. We didn't go over that bridge. But we do know where we are. We're on the fishing pier at Jekyll Island. It's a nice cloudy morning. Not a lot of bright sunshine, which is nice. beaches are very nice. The bike paths are great. You can cover the whole island by bike if you can do the miles. Jekyll Island is a resort area with convention centers, a bunch of hotels, shopping, restaurants, all the amenities. We turned off the paved bike path down this dirt bike path. Very pretty in here. The Cross Island bike trail was really nice. It was in the shade and it looked like a pirate road through the marshes. Kind of in the middle of Jekyll Island. I believe we're cutting through the middle of it. Enjoying her chips, the guacamole, Tortuga Jacks on Jekyll Island Beach. Nice. There were lots of birds and this deer in front of someone's house right on a main road. The 
historic district has a feel of understated elegance, which is how it was designed by the very rich northeastern financiers that built it. So I have to do a video of this really big, nice oak tree. It actually hangs down on the ground. And then we're back over here. You can see how all the branches and it's got all the really cool moss and stuff growing on it. This is Jekyll Island. This is the clubhouse. In November 1910, draft legislation to create the U.S. Federal Reserve was written right in there. Pretty. Jekyll Island, the first beach we found. Kind of crazy. Sure, a lot of trees down. The trees along this bike path were beautiful. They're huge. Oaks, pines. The main swimming beaches are right on the main road. But these two areas can't be seen from the road. You have to walk in, and it's well worth doing. There's no sign, but this must be Driftwood Beach, guys. Look at all that wood. Well, we really enjoyed Jekyll Island. It was pretty nice. We had a lot of rain last night, so it was kind of dirty getting ready this morning, but everything went smooth. We are on the road. It's probably not even 9 o'clock yet. And I'm not sure I would come back, but I enjoyed being here. The campground, just everybody was super nice that was around us. It wasn't too noisy, but it was just too many people close to it. Do you like camping in resort areas? I guess it's okay once in a while, but I prefer being out in nature. Leave a comment. Tell us your favorite spots.